What a mess, Velma. Stuck out on this beach without gas. I wonder how long it'll take Fred and Daphne to get back from the service station. Well, Shaggy, I calculate it will take them 25 minutes to get there, five minutes to fill the gas can, then another 25 minutes to return. That's 55 minutes from the time they left. You and your computer-like brain, Velma. How do you figure things out so fast in your head? I have to count on my fingers, and then I take off my shoes and use my toes. <laughs> There's no trick to it. It's just a matter of understanding a few mathematical principles. Then, with a little practice, you can soon learn how to put the principles to work for you. Do you really think I could learn stuff like that? Boy, would everyone be surprised if old Shag turned into a metal whiz kid. <laughs> I'd show him a thing or three. Hold on, Shag. You can't be a whiz overnight. It's like learning to ride a bike, to ski, or be good at surfing. You have to take time to practice. You know, I'll bet I can learn a few principles while we're waiting. Come on, give me a try. Okay, we'll start with a little geometry. I know, that's all about the shapes and sizes of things, right? That's the idea. Now, what does locust mean to you? It's an insect, and when they come in swarms, they eat plants and leaves. <laughs> no, that's locust. I said locust. L-O-C-U-S, locust. It means a place or location. I never heard of locuses before. No, no, not locuses. More than one locust is pronounced loci. I think we should spend a little time finding out something about a few different loci. Okay, for starters, we know a locus is a place or location. What's that got to do with geometry? In geometry, a locus is a geometric figure containing paths of a point. The end of this stick is a point. Watch while I put the point in motion on the ground. You've drawn a straight line in the sand. Correct. And the locus is a lot of points between the two points at each end of the line. Well, that sounds simple enough. A long line of points between the two ends. Okay. Yes. What would you say was the locus of Scooby as he runs along? It looks like he's running in circles with his leash tied to that stake. Correct. It is a circle. The leash acts as the radius. Look here. It's like a string compass, with the center point to the moving point being the same distance as the stick point moves. Uh, so the circle is the locus? Yes. The circle is a locus of points at the length of the radius, R, from the center point, A. The points on the circle are always the same distance from point A. That makes sense. The radius keeps the line around the center in line, so to speak. That's the idea. Knowing the center point and the radius, you can predict where any point will be even before the circle is drawn. That's the locus. It's kind of like clues in solving a mystery, huh? <laughs> now you're getting the idea. Let's try some other examples. Untie Scooby and send him down the boardwalk. Scooby, go halfway down the walk and stop. Okay, Scoob, scurry down the walk and get yourself located for the locus halfway between us. Now turn left. You're making a set of points. Turn around and cross over the boardwalk. Uh, what's that line he's made with his footprints? A locus? Yes, and I'll show you why. Let's pretend these are points where we stood. We'll call them V and S. Yeah, Scooby went halfway between us. He also stepped at these points, and any point on that path was equidistant from each of us. And he did the same thing on the other side of the walk. This set of points is a location, or a locus. This locus, equidistant from points V and S, is the perpendicular bisector of the segment joining V and S. It can be any length and still be the locus. Nice going, Scooby. Your locus turns out to be a perpendicular bisector. <laughs> Smart dog. Yeah, that's right. Let me try some of this hocus-pocus locus stuff, Velma. Be my guest. With this branch, I've already got you sticking to your work, you might say. What is the locus equidistant from these crisscross lines? Have I crossed you up, Velma? 
Not at all. That's a very good example. One part of the locus bisects these two angles. The points are equidistant from the sides of the angles. Hey, that's like the one we just did. The second part of the locus bisects the other angles. Also, the two bisectors which make up this locus will be perpendicular to each other. You know, I think I'm getting the idea. Uh, test me with another problem. I want to see if my brain is starting to work like a computer yet. Okay, here's a 10-foot pole. I'd like to see you show me the locus of points 10 feet from the boardwalk. I measure 10 feet out from one side of the path and scratch a line on the ground. Then I do the same thing on the other side. I've drawn two lines parallel to the walk at the given distance of 10 feet. These lines are the locus, right? Correct. This is what you've done. You've marked the location of points on both sides of the walk, and they are at the given distance from the given line. Here's another one for you. Get Scooby to work with you on this. Come on, Scoob, old buddy, old partner. Okay, let's go. Our bus left tire marks in the sand. These are two parallel lines. That is, they are at a fixed distance apart. I'd like to see you find the locus of points equidistant from these two lines. Okay, Scoob, here's what you do. Listen. That's got it. Now you're lined up. Your chin's in the middle. Now, draw a nice straight line as you pussyfoot backward and drag your chin. <laughs> Get set, go. Say, Scooby is good at mechanical crawling. That's a very good line. Velma, I think Scooby understands this locus business. Scoob, you've made the locus. Let's do a quick rerun instant replay. Come on, while it's still fresh in our heads now. Yeah, fresh. Get your little old point maker ready for this down-to-earth review. All right, Scooby. Draw the locus as I call for it. The locus may be a point or set of points called a line or path or location. Uh, here's a short string, Scoob. From a given point and at a given distance, the locus is a circle with the given point as center. And any point along the circle is the same distance to the center point. Okay, Scooby, let's see you find the locus of points equidistant from two given points. You're doing great, Scoob. I'll give you the two points. Now you measure an equal distance from each end. Look, Scooby found a forked stick with even sides. Hey, that's a pretty good measure. Set it down and we'll see. I'll mark the point here that you've measured, Scooby. Now, what other point do you need? He has to measure on the other side. Right. Okay, I'll mark a point right here. What's your next move? He's drawing a straight line through the points, making a locus of points. Correct. And that locus is also the perpendicular bisector of the segment joining the points. Do you remember this one? The locus of points equidistant from two intersecting lines. And that's when we divide the angles formed. Make a dotted line showing the locus, Scooby. There, the locus of points is a pair of perpendicular lines bisecting the angles formed by the given lines. Very good. Now, how about a locus of points one paw width from a given line? You give the line, Scooby will lend a paw. He's measuring with his toenail extended full paw width. And he's drawn a line parallel to the given line. Is that all? No, no, no. He has to draw a line on the other side, one paw width apart. The locus of points here is two parallel lines, the given distance from the given line. Okay, now for your big finish. I'm going to start with two parallel lines. There. Now, what would the locus of points be that was equidistant from both of these given parallel lines? Now that's simple, right, Scoob? The locus of points here is a line that goes exactly midway between the two given lines. That means it's also parallel to the other two lines. You and Scooby are pretty good. Now, the next time we get a chance, we'll put this information to some good use. Oh, boy, I feel so smart, I think I've conquered my first plague of locuses. <laughs> the plural is loci, remember? Uh-huh, loci. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, loci. Uh -huh.